of where is the motherfucking movie? Where's the movie at, like motherfucker? Where's that movie? Y'all hear how Where's that movie, the movie, Tommy? Where is the motherfucking movie? No, no. You trying to get, you trying to talk over me. You trying to say some Where is the movie? Is it in production? Is it in production right now? I am a scam artist. Would you like to add to that? No, I will not like to add to it. Tommy, I already knew you were a scam artist. It's a couple of women that have been asking me. Hey girl, check him out, check him out, check him out. You know he's talking down on black women and all this stuff right here. And I did, I checked him out. Yeah. My bro, bitch, my bro, bitch, my car calls more than your house, bitch. My car calls more than your house, bitch. I scam those people out of the money. There's no movie. Tariq, yeah, that I, came out when he comes uh, one, two, three, four, and he about to make a five. Nigga, we your five. Wait a minute. A I thought you just said I shouldn't be comparing my video father. at? Where that Go video? Where that 14 minute video? Fatherless America. They don't give you all. They don't give you all that goddamn money. Where that video at, Tommy? What you have to understand is this. Tommy Sotomayor is a psychologically disturbed person. And y'all wonder why I hate you bitches. I wish to God that they would implement what happened in Auschwitz and they do it to most of you black women because I cannot stand you bitches. And I hope all your dark, slow, fucking, nasty ass death. And I hope I'm the one that caused it. Why is it that we allow this man to make a mockery of the death of Sandra Bland? We allow this man to get on YouTube, social media, and disrespect, not only disrespect Sandra Bland, but actually say that he wish he could have watched that black bee hang in the cell. He made a mockery out of Tamir Rice. He made a mockery out of the situation with Zimmerman and young Trayvon. He wished he could have seen that black bee hang in the cell. He wished he could have watched Sandra Bland die. That he wished more white officers come into our community and kill more black children. Old Zimmerman, he need to come back in our community and kill more black people. Tommy Sotomayor is a fire that's burning out of control. He's constantly disrespecting your mother and your daughter and your sons. He's constantly calling for the death of your sons. He's constantly calling your daughters nappy headed bitches. Little dirty nappy headed bitches that you can't tell the difference between them and a man. He's constantly talking about the black woman's vagina in a disrespectful way. I charge you black men for being cowards, for allowing this man to disrespect our women and children. How dare some of y'all talk about leave Tommy alone? Why is it that? Homosexuality and transsexuals get more respect than a black woman. They fought for the right not to be called tranny. You can't say that word on Facebook or you go to Facebook jail. Believe me, I know. They fought for the right where you can't even say no homo. So now you telling me homosexuality gets a pedestal above black women and children? But I see homosexuality has more rights and held up higher than black women and children. Tommy Sotomayor is a fire burning out of control. I demand respect for the black women and children. And y'all don't find a problem with that? Black America? This is not debatable. How dare you sit up there and say... There is no difference between a black man and a black woman. 
outside of the weave. That is disrespectful because every black woman don't wear weaves. And if a black woman decides that she wants to wear her weave, you don't have the right to disrespect her. Tommy, it's time for us to come together and put together a class action lawsuit against Tommy Sotomayor. Black woman, black man, black child, it's time to demand your respect. And y'all letting him get away with that? Is this what we have become as a people? That we so weak that we don't protect our women and children the way the Mexicans do? So you telling me the Mexicans are more of a man than a black man? You telling me our Latino brothers is more men, more of a man than a black man? He reached a point in his own, um, I would have to call it, um, emotional indulgence. He reached a point in his own emotional indulgence that clearly exhibited to me a person with very, very deep-seated issues that go beyond the diatribe of his videos. Okay, I saw like two minutes of that video with uh, Tammy Sotomayor. Got my face. Really, Will? Yeah, yeah. Really? I don't like black bitches you anyway. To you, I'm talking to my phone. Bye, bitch. Bye. Bye, bitch. And then I couldn't watch them more. You, if you keep doing this, if you keep doing what you're doing, they're going to look at you like you just a white man in black skin. The only thing is you don't have a badge, you don't have a gun, but eventually you will mean harm to our sisters. And they're going to use you to make an example, bro. I know you might be rolling around with that little thing in your in your, in your your truck, but you got to understand. And this is, look, bro, any black man who ever had a gun and got killed can tell you having a gun don't make you bulletproof. So if, you really, if you're not about that life, stop talking like you're about that life. Stop disrespecting these black women in public like that because somebody's going to make an example of you. I already know that for a fact. I had to have a talk with two or three people just to be like, yo, you know, be cool. Because you're worth more to us free walking around than you are locked up because of a, of a uh, because of somebody who's sick. You're that mad at a dude you don't know about a video. Right. Yeah. I might be all that, but, but what? Pussy. I might be all that, but what, dog? We already know he is a black woman terrorism. We already know this, right? I mean, is he talking about black women? He said he got a black mother and a black daughter. So he talking about them too. There's no way around it. No issue about my insurance, bitch. What insure? What insurance? What issue, bitch? What issue? No, I don't. He had it. Yeah, and that's fine. I don't have, bitch. I'm not scared, bitch. I'm not scared. You keep talking to me, and I ask you to leave me alone. Did I bother you? And I was talking on my phone. You didn't have to say shit. So I'm telling you, bro. Find another way to instruct sisters. If you think that sisters need to make a deep-seated change, I'm talking to Tommy Sotomayor. None of us are innocent 
We are all culpable in perpetuating our own damage and psychosis. We are culpable in it. I'm not saying we're so, solely responsible for it. But we have been programmed and engineered to be our own worst enemies. So if you think, Tommy Sotomayor, I'm saying to you, if you, you can't help sisters achieve the change you think and feel that they should make while attacking them. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's human nature to defend yourself. That all you're doing is creating more animosity. They feel they need to fight against you. That's going to, it's, it's perpetuating a vicious cycle. So rather than attack sisters, show them where they error, and then show them how they can overcome the error and be better. And then you will make more black, you will make black women the kind that did not raise you. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know that whatever your mother did to you, Tommy Sotomayor, whatever your aunts did to you, Tommy Sotomayor, they deeply injured you. They injured you to the point where you made it a life crusade to go against all black women. And that's counterproductive. It's not helping anybody. It's not helping you, Tommy Sotomayor. It might make you money because there is an audience and a market out there that love to hear black women um, de being denounced. You understand what I'm saying? That love to see black women trampled on. And most of them don't look like us. You don't think white women... I think white women are Tommy Sotomayor's biggest fan. White women, white men, Spanish women, Spanish men, Chinese women, Chinese men. They probably love this. They love him. So, I mean, if that's your target audience and that's who, you know, you know, or, or, or self-hating black men who hate their mothers. Maybe there's a large contingency of, them, of us out there. But I know most black men, the average black men, we love our mothers. We worship our mothers. You understand what I'm saying? We do. And we love our fathers. You know what I'm saying? We love our parents. We love our people. Most of us do. I watch black men on YouTube today and I watch the things they're doing. They're good black men. They're having cookouts to prove that our communities aren't always violent. They're trying to show you. I mean, black men. They got watch. You go on YouTube and see how many black men are uh, love taking care of their children and being single fathers. And and do, I'm not even talk, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about black men who want to marry black men. I'm not talking about those kind of black men. Not only, those are black males. So because I have my own definition of manhood. But in any event, Tommy Sotomayor is sick. He's injured. He's emotionally sick. And the emotional sick is feeding into his psych. It's feeding into his psychosis. And so he's gonna cultivate it and grow it, and you know what I'm saying? Use it as a, so. I'm saying, brother, you could do better. You can do better because you're articulate. I think there's a part of you that cares. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be as angry as you are. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be as hurt as you are. First thing Tommy Sotomayor has to do, he has to deal with that hurt. He has to deal with that hurt, and he has to decide for himself if he's going to forgive his mother, forgive his aunt, and know that they were probably raised by people who were just as dysfunctional as they were or more. And they didn't have a Tommy Sotomayor in their life to heal them. So Tommy Sotomayor, you need to be healed, brother. You, need to, you have to start the healing. And then maybe somewhere there's a whole shitload of black women out there that might want to love you. But you got to give them the chance to do that. You got to... You got to get rid of that moat. You've dug a moat around your castle that no black sister can really reach you. Because I can tell you something, brother. Once you get a black woman in your life, bro, once you go black, you ain't never going to go back. That's just real. You understand? That's real, bro. <laughs>